Hello everyone, it's Jen Scrapping Creations. I'm so excited to be doing another paper pad collaboration with Christy Marcotte. This time we're using the Doodlebug Barbie Cute and it is so cute. I'm just flipping through the pattern paper here to show you the six by six paper pad. There's lots of cut aparts in this specific collection. I didn't use any of them today because I decided to bring in my own stamp sets. There are coordinating stamp sets by Doodlebug, but I had a bunch that were similar, so I just went ahead and used what I had. So the first one I'm using is the Lawn Fawn Crazy Antics, all these fun little picnic images with the picnic basket and the blanket. I'm using an old Lawn Fawn stamp set. This one is Let's Barbecue. The Doodlebug stamp set does have some of the barbecue foods and a barbecue. And then I'm bringing in the Foodie Friends from Simon Says Stamp. This was a collaboration stamp with Doodlebug before Doodlebug made their own stamps. And some of these images are very similar, so I decided to pull those in as well. I'm using the picnic table from the Not Too Shabby Picnic Fun. I did color up a few of the pies, and you'll see here some of the blueberries from the Lawn Fawn So Smooth stamp set. I didn't end up using those. I thought I might do a blueberry pie card, but didn't in the end. Bringing in the little characters from the Lawn Fawn screen time, and I colored one set in a medium skin tone and one in a fair skin tone. Finally, I'm bringing in the Not Too Shabby. This is the sweet tea, but I colored it up as a lemonade jug and glass and then the Yay Lemonade stamp set, and I'm using the lemon slice and the little lemons here. So here's a look at all my images colored up minus the lemonade ones. They didn't fit in my little tray there. And we can jump in to the cards. So let's start with card number one. I'll be making 10 cards today, and I do have a bonus card, and Christy made 18 for a total of 28. So I'm starting out with this red pattern paper with the white polka dots on it and I wanted to save the inside so I just used a stitch rectangle die in order to conserve that pattern paper. And then I went ahead and used a stitched rectangle die as well for this really fun barbecue pattern paper. And I thought that this card was perfect for anyone but also worked well for a masculine type card. With the Sunny Studio uh, si stitched semicircle, that's a lot of S's, I cut out the yellow stripe pattern paper and I will, you'll see that pattern paper reappear for another card. So I made sure to cut it on the uh, middle portion of the six by six piece of paper so I could use the other one for a background piece of paper on another card. So for this card, I'm just going to have the barbecue here right kind of positioned over top of the sentiment banner. And this sentiment banner is from the Heffy Doodle Tag Along Die. So I'll either be using sentiment, sentiment banners from that die set or the MFT Blueprints die set. All of my images today were colored with the Ohuhu brush tip markers which I love. Look at the coloring on this. I think it's absolutely amazing. These markers are so affordable and lately I haven't been able to put them down. So really enjoying these markers. If you're in the market for some affordable alcohol markers with a brush tip, I would definitely recommend them and they are linked below in the description box as well as everything else I'm using today. So there's kind of the basic layout for card number one. I use the barbecue utensils just kind of coming in from either side of the top of that focal panel. And now I'm just going to use a sentiment from the Let's Barbecue stamp set that says you're smoking. Really fun summer card. So celebrating the end of summer here with a bang with this 10 card video. And I really don't want summer to end but unfortunately fall is definitely in the air here on the eastern coast of Canada. I went ahead and used my mini Misty there just to make sure I could double stamp that sentiment so I had a nice 
clean impression for my sentiment and then I'm going to adhere this on without trying to stick my fingers on that ink. If you've watched my videos before, you know I'm famous for getting my fingers in the VersaFine Claire Nocturne ink once I have stamped it. So to finish this card, I just added some Nouveau Glitter Shimmer to the kind of gray areas and then we can move on to card number two. So I think this is a really sweet scene card. I used the blue pattern paper with all the little images from the collection on the back. It's very subtle, so it works quite well for the sky. For the grass, I went ahead and cut that out of some green pattern paper here, and it just has kind of cross-stitched lines on it. And I cut out some of the grass border there. That's a Happy Doodle die as well. And then, of course, my Happy Doodle swirly clouds, which I absolutely love. So I'm going to use the picnic table from the Not Too Shabby Picnic Fun stamp set. And I was so happy that these cute little characters actually fit on the picnic table. So... I absolutely love how this card turned out. It's a great example of using your stamps from different companies to create really fun scenes. So I played there for a minute with placement, just figuring out where I wanted them in terms of how they were sitting on the benches there for the picnic table. I did go ahead and put that little peeking ant down first because I wanted to make sure that I didn't adhere that grass down. So I tucked him behind there before that glue dried. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my clouds before I adhere down the picnic table. And then that's what I'll do here next. For most of these cards, actually, I don't think I used foam tape at all for any of these 10 cards. I decided to keep them nice and flat and easy to mail. So once I get the picnic table down, I am just going to add my stamp block on there just so that they, the images here adhere down really nicely. Then I can add my sandwich on top of the picnic table. And then I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And so the sentiment I chose is from the Crazy Antics. I use a lot of sentiments from that stamp set today. And I'm going to stamp out Life's a Picnic with you. So I'm going to have that double stacked. And I'll stamp that a couple times just with stamping it on the pattern paper just to make sure it's really crisp and nice and dark black. And then I can add my other little ants that I want for this scene. So I wanted there to be three ants. So I'll place one to the bottom left and then the other one kind of halfway up on that grass there on the right hand side. And I'm just going to have him kind of hanging off that focal panel just slightly. Again, finishing off with my Nouveau Shimmer Pen and that's card number two. For card number three, I wanted to use that really fun ant pattern paper. And it is a really busy pattern. So I decided that I was going to use the, this is uh, the stitched arch die from Sunny Studio. And I just cut it out of some white cardstock. I felt like that would really pop off of that uh, really busy pattern paper. I'm just adhering that down. And then I'm going to have my picnic blanket here to the bottom. And my plan is to stack up all of the little picnic or barbecue food and then I'm going to have the ants climbing on the food. So I'm going to have the hot dog on the bottom. This one I colored with mustard on it and I'm going to have the hamburger patty just tucking that behind there and then I'm going to add a hot dog with just ketchup and then the hamburger to the top. Once I get those in place I can go ahead and place my ants around or on top of the food pile. I thought this was a super fun and playful card. So while you watch me put the rest of the images down here on this focal panel, 
If you let me know in the comments below which card is your favorite, I would really love to send one of these cards from this collection uh, to a lucky viewer. So I want to take a moment and thank you all. I do appreciate each and every one of you. I have the most amazing group of people who support me. You always leave me the best compliments and comments and kind words and I can't tell you how much joy it brings to always read your comments. So as a small token of appreciation, I would like to send out uh, one of these cards. So let me know once you get through to the end of the video, which card was your favorite and it might be in your mailbox. So just again, wanted to thank you all. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to say hello below and to let me know that you're new. And I really appreciate you stopping by and subscribing as well. I love doing these collaborations with Christy. She is the queen of using up paper pads. And so she really inspires me to use up my pattern paper as well. And it's really through a lot of these collaborations or just being inspired by her even before we started doing the collaborations that I'm getting more and more comfortable with patterned paper. So thank you, Christy, for all of your inspiration. I know your videos are a ton of work, but we all love them. So let's talk about the sentiment. I used the Crazy Antics stamp set here for the sentiment, I love your crazy antics. And I thought that was perfect for this little card here with these ants crawling all over getting their lunch having their own little picnic fun. So I just trimmed that off and then I, something went weird when I stamped this sentiment. So I did use my white gel pen to fix a couple of those spots, but easy peasy fix. So again, just using some Nouveau Shimmer and Glossy Accents on the ants. And that's card number three complete. So let's move on to card number four. This card is a simple design, but I'm loving these stitched semicircles to create focal areas for smaller stamps. So this one, I'm using the smallest size die that comes in the set and just cut that out of some of the blue pattern paper. And then I'm using the really pretty colored polka dot paper for the background. So for this stamp set, I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Foodie Friends, the pop bottle and the pop can, and then the sentiment, you're so delightful, which is so cute. So I'm just trying to curve that a little bit to have it stamped on that curved banner. And this is one of the Heffy Doodle tag along sentiment strips. And of course I managed to get ink smudged. So I redid that quickly kept my fingers out of it and just glued that down to the bottom of the semicircle. I decided to go for one pop bottle and one pop can. I thought that was really cute. These are some of my favorite images in that stamp set. I colored a ton of them and didn't use as many as I had planned. So I wanted to do a card featuring just the pop can. So there's that one done quick simple card and now we're moving on to card number five so we're halfway through decided i'd use a card sketch for this one so i pulled out this lawn fawn card sketch i hadn't used it before i thought the circle elements would be perfect for some of the little food here that i colored up so i went ahead and used the darker it's not really a plaid. I don't know what you would call that pattern paper, but it's really pretty, that blue dark piece of paper. So I use that for the back as a border. And then the pattern paper with all the colorful images from the Barbecue collection on it. And then decided just to cut the circles out of some white cardstock. And I just used a stitch circle die for that. So you can see here, I'm just adhering three of the images onto the circles. So one in each circle, that one to the bottom left, I'm actually going to stamp the sentiment and I'm using the sentiment from the Crazy Antics again, Life's a Picnic with You. I'm hoping that the barbecue food, hamburgers and hot dogs definitely work for a picnic, I think 
if you go to a picnic area with a barbecue, then that can definitely work. Otherwise, I guess a lot of times you're having sandwiches, but the sandwich stamp that I had was a little bit too small for the particular size of the circles that I'm using. So for this sentiment, I'm actually going to stack it. So I'm going to have Lifesa on the top line and then Picnic in the center and With You on the bottom. This sketch has a banner to the bottom of those two circles. And I believe in the sketch, this is where you would put the sentiment, but because I put the sentiment in one of the circles, I just decided to use this bright red pattern paper with the white polka dots. I thought it picked up the red in the soda can or the pop can. Let me know what you call soft drinks where you live. I mostly call them pop. I think that's common here in Canada, but I'd love to know if you refer to it as soda or pop or something else. So there's card number five done. We're moving on to card number six, and you're going to watch me make a huge mistake here. I did laugh at myself. I'm adhering on this striped white and yellow pattern paper. I cut that with a stitched rectangle die, and then I realized I needed to put the back pattern paper on, and look at I'm actually adding the glue to the front of the pattern paper that I wanted to use and I didn't realize even at this point what I'd done. Now I did and now I have to figure out how to fix it because I don't have this pattern paper left so I couldn't do another one. So I decided to grab my adhesive eraser and try to get that glue off and it actually worked. I couldn't believe it. So there was someone watching over me in my card creating for this one to help me save this card, but oh my goodness, I don't think I've ever done that before. Maybe I have, but whew, I was glad that I was able to save that. So now I can go ahead and add that striped pattern paper on top of my lemonade paper. And I did back that up with some white cardstock. And then I can go ahead and add my sentiments, not my sentiments, my images from the not too shabby sweet tea and yay lemonade stamp sets. And I'm actually not going to add a sentiment to this card. I thought I would stamp the sentiment on the inside when I was ready to send it. I thought this card could be used for multiple occasions. It could be a thinking of you, a thank you card. It's just a sweet kind of any occasion card. So decided to leave the sentiment off. So you can see there, I tucked the slice of lemon behind the pitcher and then the cup of lemonade to the left-hand side with one lemon and then I added two lemons to the right-hand side, just kind of switching up their position a little for some added interest. Another quick and easy card design. To finish off this card, I'm going to add some glossy accents to the bubbles and the ice cubes. Going to add a little shimmer to the glass portion of the images. And then I brought in some Nuvo White Blizzard drops. I'm going to add that to the little cheeks. And then I added that to the little circles on the lemons and just adds some nice glitter to the card. So there's that card complete. And we can now move on to card number seven. So I'd colored up two of the picnic tables, so I wanted to make sure that I used the one that I had left at this point. And so I'm just creating a focal panel here for my image. So I cut that out with a stitched oval die. And then the fun kind of gingham or barbecue tablecloth pattern, I cut that out with a scalloped rectangle die for the background and I love the way the blue and the green really pops off that red and white. So now that I have that in place I have my grass adhered down and I actually use the grass pattern paper. I love when Doodlebug includes those in their paper pads. They do that quite often and it makes it really easy for scene cards. So I'm just going to add a sandwich, some chips, and a can of pop to the top of the picnic table. And this card is just going to feature one little ant who's made his way on top of the picnic table and is going to have a few treats. So once I get the food 
in the pop down. I did decide to move the pop can up just a little and there is a gap there between it and the picnic table but that will be covered up with our little ant here so no big deal. I just wanted to be able to see that pop can behind the sandwich and the ant. Just going to make sure I get the ant in place and then I can work on the sentiment. I'm going to bring in my mini Misty again here. Make sure I have the flag banner portion to the left hand side because I am going to trim off the right hand side. And again, I'm going to use the sentiment, I love your crazy antics. I just thought that was such a fun sentiment and there's lots of people that I could send this card to. So I did use this sentiment quite a bit. And I'm just stamping that on a piece of the blue pattern paper that I used for the sky in my little scene here. I'm just trying to figure out if I wanted the sentiment to end at the scallop border or all the way to the white border of the card base and I decided to have it to the end of the white border of the card. So I can go ahead and adhere that down. Again, just trying to keep my fingers out of that ink. And there is card number seven complete. So moving on to card number eight, I'm going to make a slimline card because I'm just obsessed with them lately. So I'm using for this card, Happy Doodle Slimline Dies. I will do another card and I'll bring in some Trinity Stamps Slimline Dies as well. But this one here, I'm using both the, the stitched uh, portion is from the, let me see here, it's from the pull tab slim lie set that Heavy Doodle just came out with. And then I cut the cardstock base there at three and a half by seven and a half. So this will be ready to go on a slim line card base at three and a half. Did I say seven and a half? I mean eight and a half. For some reason I always say seven and a half. I did that in my last video too. So it's eight and a half by three and a half. For this one, I just cut out those little squares with the Happy Doodle die that comes in the larger slimline set. And I just cut some pattern paper to go behind those. So this is a good way to use up some of those smaller scraps of your pattern paper. So I use the sun paper for the top and then the grass paper in the center. And then I had a little piece of that blue pattern paper left over and I wanted something quite light because I am going to stamp my sentiment in that bottom square as well. So at the top, I thought we would have the barbecue going on and then the center would kind of be the picnic with the hamburger and then the mustard container and the little ant. That little ant standing up cracks me up. It's my favorite ant in this stamp set. At the bottom, I thought I would put down the picnic basket and then I have the soda or the pop. So I have one bottle and one can. I colored up the pop to be like Pepsi, Diet Pepsi, and then I did Coke and Diet Coke. So it was, I wanted to cover all of those drinks for those who are hardcore one or the other. So I wanted to make sure that I represented all the Coke and Pepsi pop drinkers out there. So that was the rationale behind that. I also added a little chip bag to the right hand side and here's where I'm going to stamp my sentiment. So for this one, I'm just gonna use my stamp block. And this sentiment reads, life's a picnic with you. So, so fun. I think these cards would just be so fun to get in the mail. Doodlebug is just knocking it out of the park with their collections lately. So now we're on to card number nine and I wanted to use the fun watermelon pattern paper. So I did have some of the watermelon slices from the Crazy Antics stamp set colored up. So I thought I would do a really easy card design for this one as well. I'm using an MFT sketch here and I really love this. I did use this sketch as well for both the Doodlebug Baby Girl and Baby Boy collections. The tags that I'm using are the nested tag set from scrapbook.com. You get a ton of them for a really great price. And so I'm really loving that tag set. Now I wanted to add some of the watermelon into the picnic basket. So I here adhered 
the first one where there's the opening in the center there so you can just see some of that red peeking out from the watermelon and then I'm just going to add three more watermelon slices in the basket so I'll have four in the basket and then I'm going to have one in front of that with a little ant to balance that out to an odd number odd numbers they say are more pleasing to the eye so that's the reason that I do that so Three and five are usually the most common clusters or groupings of images that I will use in order to kind of have that odd rule, I guess, incorporated into my cards. But I always say in card making, there really is no rules. But in some ways, I do feel like having the odd groupings is definitely more appealing to the eye. So I try to stick with that as much as possible. I'm going to have two of the little ants on top of the picnic basket, kind of getting ready to munch on that watermelon. And then I decided to work on my sentiment here. For this one, I knew that the whole sentiment, I love your crazy antics, was not going to fit on this curved banner. So I'm just going to add some purple tape when I'm ready here. Uh, and I'm just going to cover the eye. And then the sentiment will read, love your crazy antics and I think that works perfectly fine and it fits on the banner great. Now I didn't quite get this curved to fit the banner perfectly but I think it's good enough. It's a handmade card right? So it's often really hard sometimes with the camera above to tell uh, where exactly the sentiments are. You'll notice with some of the sentiments actually I think the next card is a good example where when you're watching it on camera like this, you can really tell when I'm too low on a sentiment, but when I'm sitting where I am to film, I can't actually tell if I'm centered all the time without getting my head right in the way, and I don't like to do that, so I just hope for the best, and sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. But I have my uh, sentiment adhered now, and so I'm gonna add that final little slice of watermelon. I wanted you to be able to see most of that image because they're mostly covered up within the basket. And then I'm going to have the little ant beside that one and I think that finishes it off nicely. Just adding some glossy accents to my ants, I think that gives them a really fun shiny look. And then using my white gel pen there just to fix up some of the smudges on my sentiment. So here is the final card. The final card that I put together with you, I do have a bonus with this one. So this is another slimline die and not a slimline die. I'm using slimline dies, but this is a slimline card. So I'm using, like I mentioned on the previous one, a mixture of Heffy Doodle and Trinity Stamps dies here. So there is a border set that Trinity Stamps has. It's got a cloud and then a landscape and then it has this grassy border, which is so much fun. I love the stitch detailing near the tops of the grass there. It's just, I don't know, it's different. I really like it. So for this card, I'm going to use mostly stamped images and cardstock. So funny to story as to why I have the bonus card is uh, I was doing these cards and so I sent Christy a picture of the first five that I had kind of designed and had been thinking about and two of them were these two cards and I said to her after I didn't notice but I said oh no I didn't use any pattern paper on these cards and this is all about the paper pad so I can't really show this in the video the way it is and I just kind of got lost in using the stamps because to be honest all the images are so cute and I kind of gravitate towards coloring and stamped images and she said not to worry about it but for this card I kept it in because I ended up deciding to use a piece of the pattern paper for the sentiment so I felt like I saved myself there I can actually say that I use pattern paper on every card for the 10 cards and so I'm going to use a scrap of that green pattern paper that I had left over from another card. And I will stamp the sentiment. I'm going to use Life's a Picnic with you again. So for the cluster of the images on the picnic cloth, originally I had thought I wanted to put the pop bottle to the right-hand side of the tablecloth. 
but I wasn't sure that that was going to leave me enough space for that sentiment banner. Although the pop bottle would have balanced out better on the right because there's the barbecue sauce bottle to the left, and you'll see that when it's back on screen here in a minute, I really wanted to make sure I had room for that sentiment, so I ended up switching it to the left-hand side of the blanket and then just had the burger in front or beside that and then the hot dog to the right-hand side. And I'm going to try to fill in some of those spaces there with my cloud die cuts. So again, I popped that little standing ant in the front there. And then I have one ant holding the barbecue sauce to the left. And then I'll add three, three more? One, yeah, three more ants once I get the sentiment down. I wanted to have the sentiment there first and the clouds in place so I could figure out where I needed to put the ants just to kind of balance out the scene. So I really loved the pop of red for that scalloped border for this slim line. I felt like it really picked up on the picnic blanket and the barbecue nicely. And then I have it on the card panel there and that is cut eight and a half by three and a half. So that gives us the slim line size. That's the one that I use most often uh, is that size. So again, just some finishing touches here. You've seen me do this on the rest of the cards. I'm using my glossy accents. And then I'll show you a close up of this card and my bonus card. So for this one, I stamped it. We go together like picnics and ants. And for the blue, I used some Something Borrowed Ink by Katherine Pooler. And absolutely love how that little scene card got put together, but I didn't wanna do the creation of it with you because I didn't use any of the pattern paper, but I hope you like seeing it anyways. So I've slowed down the video here. I'm recapping all 10, well, 11 with this bonus card that I made with you today. Don't forget to check out Christy's video. She's got 18 cards for you using the Barbie Cute collection by Doodlebug. All the links to the products will be below and most of them are affiliate links, which means if you choose to shop with them, I get a commission uh, at no extra cost to you and I really appreciate your support. It all goes back into my channel. So thanks everybody. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.